then there's the other end of the spectrum to interpret it more um, abstractly. I think it's safe to probably bring everyone in. The group needs me? And the analogy I could bring for that would be, um, you find that in Buddhism. Bodhisattvas. Which, uh, oddly enough, Bodhi, <laughs> I think that root term means uh, enlightenment itself. Not sure how, what that has to do with uh, Bodhi the character. So we find here in the series. Jon Jonsson at your service! I think this is trapped as well. Okay. But uh, the Buddhas, and there's more than one, their uh, incarnate form here on Earth is uh, understood to be conceived through a combination of a mortal father, a mortal mother, and a third element, the genius, or that divine essence. And that's, that's more how I like to look at the, uh, the ball spawn. Of course, they talk about the divine essence of ball. Alright, more books. Sorry, losing a uh, train of thought. So, at least let me finish this thought. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I see more the child of Bull as a blood child of two mortals, but infused with the divine essence of Bull. So, not necessarily uh, born without a mortal father and some product of virginal birth. I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I see it more as uh, I think Lily did in fact have a mortal father, a mortal mother, and somehow she was infused with the es essence of bull and is so considered a bull spawn, if that makes sense. In fact, the way I'd like to interpret it, might as well <laughs> recount this is, uh, or I think it would be neat to interpret it this way. Maybe Lily's art was inherited from her mother for the arcane. Maybe it's a maternal trait. And uh, maybe her mother, in a bid for some greater power, actually offered, let's say, Lily's soul to Ball for a boon placing uh, Lily as a baby on an altar during some <laughs> dark ritual in exchange, Bull was able to infuse his essence in her and so own her, so to say. She became a child of Bull um, for his ultimate ploy, I think, for his return, I guess, to be sacrificed. So that's the type of way I'd like to interpret it. But of course, I uh, haven't seen the end of the story, and I'm sure maybe I'll be wrong as we discover more. But uh, as it is, that, those are the assumptions I'm operating under now. Boy, a lot of stuff. But there's also the topic of uh, what that means for Siblings, for example, what's the relationship between Lily and Emowyn if they are indeed both children of Bull? I'll probably get to that in a little bit. Or at least how I look at it. Yeah, no end to uh, things here. So here's another handwritten note from Lum, what we're guessing is Lum the Mage. No magic. Long blue green. Black magic back. Oh, back magic back. <laughs> Still not making sense. Here is the fire library note. 
Demon, almost immune to physical damage, transforms into its ice incarnation, vulnerable to flame and fire. Destroy the windbag air wizard with his pathetic servants. My giant is invincible, so combat air with fire. I think we'll look, eventually when we get all of them, I think we'll have a better picture of how to go about this. But I think we start with the Chamber of Air and 3A again. Boy, lots of copies of that book. And wrong container. Okay. Yeah, forgetting that we have these, but I think we're going to reserve these for, uh, oh, I really need them. All right, two extra healing for Mazzy. Having to go up against that fire giant that was something else. Our right, bolts plus three. Already have some of those. You know what? I think we'll put the plus ones away. I'll just start using the better ammunition. Wand of Cursing. Cast Blindness, Deafness, and Silence on a target. Okay. Bullets plus four. Holy cow. Put those away then. Yeah, I think we might as well reserve the really good ammunition for the lower levels, if we can. And they're throwing a lot of potions of superior healing at us. It's not a good sign. All right, cloud giant strength. I believe that would Jahira. And uh, all right, more ammunition. Arrows plus three. Darts. Man. Okay. So I'm losing track of where everything is. All right, there we go. So that's it. We found another note. Essentially, he did say to start in here. I think he's gonna peek at the door. Let's see what he's gonna hear. Make sure this wasn't trapped either. Yeah, well, I think we were told. Chamber of air. All right. Sire? Wouldn't be surprised if we ultimately have to face the chromatic demon and destroy all its various forms. <laughs> be something else. All right. Wondering though if we should 
Probably maybe Rast. I think that would be a good idea. At least so we're prepared. For this next library. Tri what is it? Yeah, I would probably appreciate being restored. Victory shall be ours. You know this. Look <laughs> at that. He was ready to level up. Pardon, turn up reflex. All right, so yeah, I'm becoming a level nine illusionist. I'm reading that right. Yeah, gaining two fifth level spells. All right, lost this from the level drain. Whole monster could uh, certainly be good. Yeah, I don't think we're expecting to see too many humanoids here in Watcher's Keep. All right. Are right, trying to set traps? Time to move. Oh man. Alright. You can You need my skills, I see. It's in such a place. Uh, it is seeped to the very rocks themselves. Alright, unable to set any traps. Okay, actually I'll probably pause it I think till next time. Uh, man. Something amiss. I'm just going to pause stone skin. What? Yep. You sound like Goladon. Yes. So I think I'll pause it here. I guess next time we'll be continuing looking into the, I guess, libraries for the other two wizards. Assembly our notes and then uh, probably trying to deal with the chambers in order to get the scepters. But uh, yeah, I guess that'll be next time. For watching, thanks, and uh, later.